So this is the advanced balance workout that we practiced. And I'll go through the ankle TheraBand exercise and the marbles at the end also, just so that you have it all in one video. So you'll need a PVC pipe, your marbles, your TheraBand, and a chair. Okay, let's get started. So the first one is we'll do a deadlift. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way. And then when you're doing your deadlift, you wanna keep your knees soft, not so much that you're starting to make it squatty, um, but definitely don't hyperextend because that kind of does something funny with the calf. So just a, um, a soft knee, all hamstring, and look for the effort um, and the upper hamstring and the lower glute. And then that sprinkle of pelvic tilt, come back up, shift down, look for the stretch, come up. I think I remember your hamstrings being a little on the flexible side, so if you feel like you're not getting anything until you're down there, maybe stop just where, you, like just below the knees, the upper third of the shin. So that's three, four, five, and if they get a little boring, you can think of your chin also, an apple space between your chin and your chest, especially when you're pulling up. That keeps the abs engaged a little bit more. Let's do one more. Okay. And so now we're gonna try a one-legged deadlift. Do the better side first. Okay, so one leg, leg up in the air, coming down, balance, and up. Three, four, five. If it's too hard to do it that way, we'll do it on this leg with the pole in front. And up one, two. Three, just for balance, not for really strength. Four, five, Go, trying to make it nice and smooth on the down and up. Oops, six, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's try five more on the one side with the pole. And I'm changing direction so that you can kind of see it from all angles. Um, notice if you're doing this, try to keep your hip down a bit, okay? So that's three, four, one more, five, and if you can do it very well with the pole but not so great without it, you can do it with the pole but just very, very lightly. So I'll do that on this one, so super lightly. One. All right, just using it when I need it. Two. Three. Four, trying to keep the pelvis, both fronts of the pelvis pointing down to the ground. Last one. Okay, um, the next one will help you with what we just did. So it's a hip drop. I'm gonna show you this way. Uh, yes, you can see me. Both hands on the wall and you wanna come down so you're kind of, everything's parallel, right? Your arms, torso, leg is up high enough so that my leg is parallel also. And then drop sideways into the side pocket of your hip and then push up so now you're getting a stretch in your adductor on the standing leg and your hips are stacked. So drop, stack, using your glute to get yourself up. Three, four, we'll try 10 of these. Five, six, nice and smooth on the down, seven, Eight, nine, 
10, great, other side. I picked a good diagonal so you can see. Okay, so parallel, drop some in the side pocket and push up. So I'm stacked, feeling the adductor stretch. Side pocket, up one, two, three, four, all glute work. Feeling the stretch, contracting from the stretch. Five, six, seven, eight, try to keep the knee straight. Nine, ten. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so staggered. This one, staggered legs. Um, the leg that's in front, put the hand in the, uh, put the pole in the opposite hand. So you're going to roll off of your back foot, not like this. That kind of puts strain on the Achilles and the big toe. Try to keep your toe pointing forward or maybe a little bit, five degrees of a turnout. And then you're gonna roll off of that toe up in the air, put the weight back onto the toe. That's some effort in the gastroc there. Back, two, three. And again with the pole, right? You may want to try without it, but why not try very lightly, one finger, or just kind of glide your hand along. Two more. Awesome. Other side. Switch. Front leg. Pull. Not too far back. All right. You want to be able to roll off of that foot. Roll onto this one. Light pressure if you can. And roll back. So just weight shifting from front to back and making sure that you're rolling off of the back foot. Just a very light engagement of the Achilles. Of the gas rock. Five, six, super light, seven. You can break these up into five and five also if you prefer, and then do two sets. Two more. Awesome. Okay, and now we're going to put the two things together which is the deadlift and the roll off. So knee up, I'll move that a little bit more here. Deadlift, knee up, touch down. Knee up, deadlift, knee up, touch down. Do two more like this. This is actually a harder place um, for balance. So this is the easier one, right? Because I'm standing on this leg. So opposite would be easier. You make your choice, depending on how your balance is. Two. Rolling off, up, back, up, touch down. Four, last one. If they get easy, think about your chin being an apple space to your chest. One more for good luck. Okay, so that one, switch legs. Do five here, five there. Up, out, up, touch down. One. Two. Three, other things to think about. What's happening with your hips, right? Don't be up there. Try to keep them stacked. Four, I think. Oops, stacked. 
five. Good switch. Let's switch hands. Up. Out. Stacked. One. Two. Finding that spot if it's a little wobbly, just stay there a second, gain your control, and then keep going. And one more. Awesome. Okay. Okay, um, let's do the easier version first. Standing on one leg. Okay, hands. This is a little easier for balance. Um, this makes it a little bit more challenging. That's the most challenging. So knee pointing forward, and then you're just going to rotate the knee out and make sure this part is as stacked as you can be. Shoulder, hip, knee, ankle. Two, three, four, five. Good, five more. Thinking about the tripod on the standing foot your big toe, your pinky, and your heel, all points touching down on the ground. Okay, other side. Tripod, up tall, knee. It's the only thing that moves. My hips are staying still. Okay, and you're just getting awareness of how much your hip can actually rotate, right? If you push further, then the whole body goes. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then like that, um, keep the knee forward. My foot's touching my, my ankle there, or you can touch the shin. Contact helps um, the proprioception. So you're going to stay there, and then I'm just going to rotate my shoulders not my hips. If my hips go, my foot rolls in, issue. Okay, so just my shoulders, and then back, and then that way. This is going to be an easier direction. This one will want your foot to flatten in, and this way kind of biases the foot into an arch. Good, two, we'll do five, three, Three, four, four, taking your time with the speed, five, five, good. And then also realizing how far you can turn to still keep your balance. Even if it's a short distance, that's fine. Just getting to know your body's range of motion. All right, other side. Hips, touch, knee forward, and same thing. To the right, rotating to the left. Good, one, shoulders, make sure it's not just your neck. Two, three, Four, five. Awesome. Okay. Um, one last one. Standing. I'll move that way so you can see me. Straight. Little pulses. Not big ones. Small ones. And fast. Count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Other side. One, two, small, small. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can lighten your hands. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Okay. Let's move on to the bands. So bands and marbles, let's do them sitting. Change it up, keep it interesting. I don't think the bands are any harder sitting. So you could do it either way. Um, so if you want to go to red, okay. All right, so 
we're going to do 10 out, making sure you go slowly in. Three, and upright. Four, five, don't let this foot move at all. Six, seven, eight, nine, checking in, making sure nothing moves, just your ankle. Up and out, down and in. One more. Awesome. Flip it, cross it, let the band take you up and out, and then you're going to push down and in, slowly back. Two, slow. Three, make it a little easier. Three, slow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more round. One, two, three, knee doesn't move. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Down and in, up and out. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, on to the marbles. So you want to noisy. You want to um, really stretch the plantar flexion. Stretch the point when you're doing them. So put the put the cup away from you so you get that kind of point, and then the marbles can be placed right in front of you. Grab it, stretch it like that, but put all the marbles out. Grab, stretch. One more. Okay, you finish up the rest of the marbles on your own. Um, and then I'll just show you the other stretches you can do. So maybe press pause, finish your marbles. Show you quick stretches. Down on your back, knee into the chest, one leg down, up and down with the foot. Switch legs. Foot. Um, both legs down, cross one leg over, come up this way. That's that external rotation. Can you see? And then up to the chest, stretching the glute. And then switch, cross the leg over, come on up. Both legs down. Grab behind the knee, and you're just going to stretch straight and pull the foot, uh, the toe towards your nose and point. And point. One more. And then three up and down with the knee. You can add the foot in. Awesome. And then the other side, same thing. Press the foot. And then add the knee and the foot together. Awesome. Both feet together, knees open. Again, external rotation, tucking under. Breathing out. Nice breath in. And let's just do a torso rotation also. So go back into that piriformis stretch. 
right? Leg crossed over and then bring one knee to the ground, keeping your hand down, big breath in and out. One arm up and the other side, cross the leg, cross over, big breath in. Awesome. Okay, good luck with the program. Let me know if you have any questions.